located 630 kilometers northeast of Kenya's capital, Nairobi, Wajia County is home to more than 662,000 residents, majority of whom are nomadic pastoralists. Wajia is located in an arid area prone to drought, and as a result, the main source of livelihood of the residents is at constant risk from inadequate pasture and water. This scenario is repeated across the larger part of northern Kenya. As a result, residents of northern Kenya often rely on humanitarian assistance to access basic goods and services such as food, health, water and education. Citizen participation has been used as a tool to curb corruption in the implementation of humanitarian assistance programs. The Food Assistance Integrity Study, published by Transparency International Kenya, unveils that investments in beneficiary accountability mechanisms not only improves programming and plays a more transparent and accountable role in capturing concerns of the beneficiaries, but also increases the capacities of communities in exercising their rights and entitlements. Involving citizens in targeting and monitoring processes related to the distribution of food assistance contributes to enhance accountability of aid to beneficiaries as well as participation. One of the existing mechanisms is the use of relief committees at the community level. Now the relief committee are there to now implement things to the deep into the interior of the community. So those are very important people at the grassroots level. Identifying the person who is, who is needy, uh, identifying who is not needy, trying to bring information from somewhere from the office to the community, from the community to the chief, from the chief to the office. These committees are modeled on traditional informal councils that pre-existed modern processes and as such these committees are also dispute resolution mechanisms. Members of relief committees are generally nominated by the community. They are involved in the targeting exercises, identifying the most vulnerable households that receive humanitarian assistance. Uh, Community representatives also sit in district steering groups and county steering groups to ensure that they are privy to the goings-on of these decision-making bodies. District steering groups are multi-stakeholder forums including government and humanitarian organization representatives to coordinate and share information regarding the provision of aid at the district level. Unfortunately, these citizens have inadequate capacity to represent their interests in the governance process. Transparency International Kenya recognizes the role of citizens in an effective governance process. Through the Humanitarian Aid Integrity Program, Transparency International Kenya is committed to continue enhancing integrity in the sector as well as to foster citizen participation in the design and monitoring of basic service delivered to their communities. The program is structured around three components, advocacy, capacity building, and community participation. National and county advocacy strategies will be drafted in cooperation with humanitarian partners. This will prioritize the advocacy focus at the national level and in three counties, that is Wajia, West Pokot, and Turkana. We will seek synergies, alliances, and joint strategies from different stakeholders. Capacity building and best practices exchange workshop for humanitarian aid and government employees will be conducted in the three counties. This will raise awareness of the risks of corruption in the implementation of aid programs as well as to present mitigation measures.